what you guys today we're taking a look at how to fix there was a problem resetting your pc in windows so if your pc was unable to reset and you're having a problem when you're hitting the reset this pc then this video is for you as you can see here you're going to go through the process here and what will happen generally it will fail and it will need to roll back because it can't continue uh, with the reset this pc process you may even get a message saying something didn't go as planned. No need to worry, undoing changes, please keep your computer on. And what this is going to do is roll back to a time uh, before you use the reset this PC feature. Once you get back to your restore desktop, you will get there was a problem resetting your PC. No changes were made and you can then close this window off. It just means that you can't reset your PC in this way. So I'm going to show you some things you can do to try to reset your PC and fix this problem. So first up, let's take a look at the first thing you need to do. First off, you need to run SFC scan now, and you can do that by opening up command prompt as administrator here. And this is important to see if there's any sort of violations or any corruption with the operating system. And you can do that by typing SFC space forward slash scan there. Let this complete. It does take a bit of time, but once this is done, uh, you should get a message saying everything is okay. If you've got problems, then you need to go to the next step, which I'll show you in a second. So let me just quickly get to the end of this, and you can see Windows uh, Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. If you're getting another message here, then you may have issues, and we need to fix those. So now you can try this command here. Uh, this one is the DISM command. So the command is going to be DISM space forward slash online. And then you want to do space forward slash cleanup dash image. Once you've got that typed out, do space forward slash restore health and let that run. It will take a fair bit of time, but you should see some sort of percentage at the bottom of the screen where it tells you how long it's going to take to complete. And hopefully once this is done, we can move on to the next step. Now, if this fixes some issues, then you can also run the SFC space scan now again, just to make sure that all the problems have been resolved. If not, we can try some other things. So next, what we're going to do is hold the shift key down, the left shift key, and then restart your PC. But continue to hold the shift key down until we get to uh, the blue screen here. You'll see it in a second. So let the PC start, hold the shift key down continually. And basically what you'll get is this blue screen popping up here saying, choose an option. Go to troubleshoot. Once we select troubleshoot, there'll be some other options available to us inside here. Inside here, this is where you can also access, reset this PC, but we're gonna to go to advanced options. Now we'll waste your time with startup repair. It doesn't really fix anything. So go down to the command prompt here and click on command prompt. Inside here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type out a bunch of commands. So let me show you this one here, what we're gonna do here. So we need to find the Windows directory. So I'm gonna type C colon and then type DIR, and then we see if there's a Windows directory there. There isn't, so we need to now do D colon, push enter, and then we can do DIR again. And then we can now see that there is a Windows directory here. So this is the one we need to be in. So next up, what we're going to do here is we're going to navigate to a location so we can make changes to our system. Now, this is obviously more advanced. So bear in mind that hopefully you've got all your data backed up before you do any of this stuff. But what you need to be doing is type in CD, which is change directory space backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash config. And this will take us to this location here. Now, once we get to here, you can type out this command here. And uh, basically what this is going to do is make a backup of these two files, which is going to be your software and system. Now we use the ren command here. So I'm going to go ren, R-E-N, space system, space system, dot zero zero one. And then push enter. Next, we need to type ren space software space software dot zero zero one and once we've done this this is renamed the software and the system files to dot 
0.001. So if we type DIR now, you will be able to see that these have been renamed. So let me just quickly do this so you can see DIR. And there we go. They've now been changed. So when we reboot, this will kick in a, uh, a repair. And hopefully it's going to repair the system and it will try to repair it, automatically repair the system. But these are backed up, so they are there still. So what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of this and restart our system. So let's go ahead and restart. Type exit. Close this off. And restart the PC. You can shut it down here, turn off the PC, and then start the PC up again. So let's go ahead and do that now. Turn off PC, and you will get the preparing automatic repair come up. And basically, let that try and fix the operating system. And if it does, we get diagnosing your PC. It will come up with the next stage. And it did say automatic repair couldn't repair your PC. So let's try the reset this PC again to see whether it works this time. So I'm going to go back into here and we're going to go to troubleshoot and I'm going to run the reset PC from here. So let me go ahead and try reset this PC from here. And we can keep my files. And we can now go through the cloud download and choose our option. And it's going to go ahead and do this for us. And hopefully we can uh, reset this PC from here. Now we've made those changes. And as you can see, unfortunately, there was a problem resetting your PC. No changes were made. We're still getting that error code, so we can't use it. And uh, basically, we need to revert that back to the way it was before we changed it. So let me go quickly and show you how to do that. Now, I won't bore you with a complete uh, reset process. I'll show you here quickly. We'll go back into command prompt. I'll do all the commands and I'll show you the final result of how we can revert back. So let me go back into our command prompt here by hitting the troubleshoot area. And then go back in here and then we can click on the advanced options. And I'm going to go back into command prompt. Go back in here. And from here, we're going to go back to that location we was in before, which is going to be D colon. And then we're going to go into the path that we need, which is DIR. Make sure we're in the Windows directory. There we are. We can see Windows there. And now I need to change directory and go to Windows System 32 config here. So let me go back to that location here. And then we can run the commands to reverse those two files back. So I'll speed this process up. There we go. And now we're at this location here and we can see this software.001 and we can see system.001 and you can see it's added in the software and system files, but it hasn't fixed our problem. So we need to delete these two files and put our software.001 back and our system.001 back. So what I needed to do was delete the software and the system files. So what I did was I put in a command of DEL space software, that is delete software, and then we've done enter and it deleted it. Then I did DEL space system and then push enter and it deleted the two that Windows created on the repair. I then reverted my two backups, which I created, which is now called ren space system.001 space system. And then I did ren space software.001 space software. So we basically renamed the software.001 to software and then space. And then we renamed the system.001 to system after we deleted the previous two. So I hope that made it a bit clearer there. And we've now back to the way it was before we started. And once that's all done, you should see DIR. I'm going to type that there. And you now see that it's all gone back to the way it was before we started. So we've now got the original ones, which we backed up back in place. And now we can continue on to try to fix windows this is basically what you need to do when you're trying to fix things it's a long process and some people just will do a fresh install and that is another option available to you which i'll talk about a little bit later on so now we're back to the desktop and what we're going to do now is we're going to run another command to see whether this is going to fix our problem so let's go ahead and open up the command prompt and run this as administrator say yes here and from here, we're going to type this command here. We're just going to basically stop something 
and then re-enable it. And this is sometimes can fix the issue. So we're going to type R-E-A-G-E-N-T and then C and then space forward slash disable and then push enter and you should see it being disabled. And it says successful. And now we're going to reverse the process and uh, enabled it this time. So let's go ahead and go back, push the arrow key up and then we can push enter and this will enable it again. And you can see the operation completed successfully. And sometimes just doing this one thing can actually uh, work and help you fix and resolve the reset this PC here. So let's go ahead and close this off here and move on to another thing. Now, another option available to some people is system restore. So right click on start button and open up the run box and we can then try to see whether we have a system restore available to roll back to a time when the system was working correctly. So we can do SYS DM space CPL and this will open up the window here and you can see system properties go to system protection and we do have system restore enabled by default system restore is disabled and if yours is disabled this is not an option for you so you can see here i can choose a different restore point and check these out to see if there's one before the time when the issue started happening now again this is no guarantee that this is going to work but it is sort of a, a get out of jail free card where you can go back to a time when the system was working correctly and uh, it's your option whether you want to run this if it's available to you. If not, then you'll need to move on to the next step. Now, the problem with this process is a lot of the time these features are not enabled. And if it's not enabled, then this is not going to be an option available to you. So let's move on to another option which you might have available, which is we're going to go back into choose an option here by holding the shift key down and restarting the system again and going back into these options which we have available to us. So let that come back to choose an option screen. And there we go, we're back here again. We're going to go back into the troubleshoot window here and then we're going to go into advanced options. Now the other one is called um, System Restore. You can use it from here as well if you can't get to the desktop. So if you can't get to the desktop, you can choose it from this option by just basically when the PC crashes three or four times, it will bring you to this choose an option window, the recovery window. If you don't have system restore, you can go back into troubleshoot, go to advanced options, and then you can choose another option, which is called uh, system image recovery. So over on the system image recovery, if you have a system image recovery option available to you and you have been doing these, and you can use this to restore your PC. If you don't have a system image backup on your system, then you're not going to be able to use this option. So this is the important part of making backups and other things like that. So when you have a crisis like this, you can get out of it by using your system image backup. If you don't have one, this is not going to work for you. So we can then move on to the next step, which is basically running out of options now where it would be physically backing up your data and reinstalling Windows from scratch. But before we do that, let me just show you one more final option, which is sometimes available to some people if they have um, regback files in there. And if they do, they can always use this option. So let me quickly show you. We're going to go uh, to the desktop and I'll quickly show you here. So go into the desktop again. And once we're at the desktop here, let me just show you where the regback folder is. So before you start, so go to the this PC, C drive, and then you can go to Windows, go into System32 here, look for System32, and then we want to go into the config folder. So look for config. Now we've been here in the uh, command prompt, but I just wanted to show you here so inside here, you can see regback. There is no data inside here. If you have no data in here, you can't use this option that I'm going to show you now. But if there is files here, you can use these to revert back to. And let me quickly show you this option, just in case you have files available to you. 
Now these files have to have data on them. If they have zero on them, then you won't be able to restore back using the regback feature. This has been sort of decommissioned by uh, Microsoft. So we need to get back to this option here. You know how to do it by now. Hold the shift key down and restart the PC. And you need to go to DIR and use the Windows directory and it will be either D or C for you. Change directory back to Windows System32 config. So let me quickly navigate to this location here and I'll show you exactly what you can do if you do have files available to you in your regback folder. Once we've done this, what we need to do here is we're just going to quickly go DIR and, and have a look inside this directory. So let's go ahead and have a look. So you'll see inside here, we do have some areas which we can use, which is basically the software system and also default. We need to back up these files so we can do the command MD space backup. And this is make directory called backup. And that's what we're going to do. So just do this, enter. And then from here, what we're going to do next is we're going to copy all of the files inside this location and put them in the backup folder. So let's go ahead and do that by doing copy space star dot star space backup. And it's going to copy all of our registry files here into that location. So you can see they're copied into there now. So we have a backup of these. So we know they're safe. So what we can do is we need to do change directory to regback. Now, remember this option is only going to be available to you if you have files inside your regback folder. If you don't, you can't use this method. So DIR, you can see I don't have files in here, so I wouldn't be able to use this method to revert back from regback to my main directory here. So let me go ahead and show you the process. So just in case you do have files here, if they're all zero, they're no good. You need to have files with data in them and it will be all of the files that you need to copy back across, which is your security, your software, your system, and so on. All of these need to have data in them. If they don't, you can't use them. So if you do have them, you need to do this command, copy space star dot star space dot dot. And basically what we're telling it to do is copy all the files in the regback folder to go back to the default directory, which is going to be our config folder. So it's going to have two dots, which is going back two directories. And then you all you need to do is type all and push enter and then exit. I'm not going to do it because I don't have the files there. Otherwise the system won't boot. So next, what you can do is hopefully this has rectified your problem. If you do have fixes for your system now and it does work, you should be able to use the reset this PC back and it will be back to the desktop. If it doesn't work, the only other option is to reinstall Windows back to uh, factory settings by downloading the media creation tool and then creating a bootable USB media and reinstalling Windows that way. And I've made videos on that. If you want to see a full video on how to install Windows 11, let me know in the comments section below. I'll be happy to make those videos for you. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Special shout out to Ron Hicks, Casso Time, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, PC Repair Tech, Albert Hewson, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, and Welsh Tony One. I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks for all your support. I really do appreciate it. And I shall see you again real soon. Bye for now.